I remember that day when uh, Guy Catlin asked me to think about the idea of painting a Bugatti Veyron because immediately I reacted by saying that I, I could not do such a thing. You know, there was no reason for me to add something to this car, which is in itself really a work of art. And of course, he insisted. I could not see a relationship immediately with my sculpture. I thought I have to go in the direction of my painting, and the solution would be to use the engineering studies and uh, the equations that uh, made this car be uh, the fastest car in the world, going 275 miles an hour. So I decided to work in that direction. The front of the car would be like uh, if the wind, the speed of the car would erase the text. I thought that this would be interesting because it would create some dynamism. The back of the car is monochrome, only one color, very dark brown, and the front would be copper with some text. And they showed me the result, how the result would be with the real color on the real shape of the car, but only half of it. And that was very, very convincing. There was this idea that we could have had that as a curve, you know, the lines should not be necessarily straight, but it works very well like this. At the same time, they proposed to me that we could also do something inside the doors. They, you know, we have some leather, a little bit like the color of my sculpture, and uh, we will do some embroideries, the same equations, the same text. And then the last thing that we did, which is also special, is that just to remind people about um, my work, we decided to have the two caps for the oil and the gas, and also inside, between the two seats, uh, we will do it in metal, and, um, and there will be an indeterminate line.